I didn't realize it, but there was something I forgot to mention in yesterday's NBA Draft Reaction was the trade that took place in the Thunder and the Magic. So today I'm going to explain it, as I apologize that I forgot to mention it yesterday in the reaction video. I realized it when I saw Global Sports Commentary's video earlier today. So, to recap this trade. The Magic got in this trade... Serge Ibaka. However, the Thunder got in exchange Victor Oladipo, Ursan Aslovia, and DeMontis and the rights of DeMontis Sabonis. Now, the trade win probability I have the Thunder winning that by 60% and the Magic winning by 40%. Although both teams did really get better on each team got better with that trade. But I just feel like the Thunder just got a little bit better. Let me just write in why I feel like the Thunder got better. Because I'm going to draw up the potential starting five for the Thunder this season. I was going to show it on a piece of paper, but I just didn't want it to be that way. Because I don't have the second board on me right now. In fact, I think I'll get another new board. That way I can have a couple per video. Kind of write out the stuff in advance. The potential starting five for the Thunder. Because as I'm drawing this out, the Thunder really gained more than, in my opinion, I feel like the Thunder did. The Thunder gained a very two-dimensional player, one that's good on the offensive side of the ball and defensively. But the Thunder gained a little bit better just by how their potential lineup will look, or it could look. So let's take a look at the potential starting five for the Thunder. This is not drawn up the best, because I was in a hurry. But as soon as I read this, you'll, you'll understand why. At point guard, of course, we have Russell Westbrook. At small forward, of course, we have Kevin Durant. Now, Steven Adams is the center. And when they trade, made the trade last night, they ended up getting Victor Oladipa on the right side of the bonus. So those three players are very big in size. So the Thunder really improved in size. So that is why I feel like the Thunder won this trade. Although it does, it'll take some time to determine if they officially won the trade. But right now I would say the Thunder won this trade. Because the Thunder were just one winner away from going to the NBA Finals. Now would they have won the NBA Finals against Cleveland? Probably not. But they probably would have won one or two games. Although there was... Some speculation that Durant and Ibaka did not get along very well in Oklahoma City, and that's why they traded Ibaka. I remember a couple of years ago, the Thunder had to, de to debate whether which one to keep, whether it was James Harden or Serge Ibaka, and they ended up keeping Serge Ibaka because they felt that they could find another shooting guard that matched up James Harden, but they could not. They've gone through many of them. In fact, Global Sports commentator said in his video earlier that they've gone through so many shooting guards but maybe Oladipo can change it for the Thunder. And I think if the Thunder, if they can stay healthy and they can work well together, maybe they could go to the NBA Finals. Now, I'm not going to say that yet because remember I said earlier in the season in October, for this for this past season, and back in October I said the Thunder stayed healthy the whole season, they made it to the NBA Finals. I'm just going to say they could. Because the Warriors will probably still be the Warriors, although I feel like the Warriors aren't going to, Stick it around with, they're not going to stick around with Barnes and Bogut. I don't at least think that, which is why they probably drafted Diamond Stone with the 30th overall pick instead of maybe drafting another good shooter. It, it would have been like giving a superhero another power. But that's another video for another day. Now, I've, I understand that I've been talking about NBA a lot lately, but I'm trying to break it down into sports. As originally, well, Yesterday was the 10-month anniversary of this channel. Back then it was called Johnny Talks Football. But now it's called Johnny Talks Sports as I'm kind of breaking down the barriers of each sport. I even talked about soccer one time. I talked about hockey a few times. I talked about baseball once. I don't know, maybe if you want a sport to talk about, that want me to talk about to you guys. 
that could work. Because it's all about you. It's not about me. Because I'm trying to share your ideas. That's why you can email me, birdtechjoinatgmail.com. You can also tweet me, at JBTalkSports. I'll put the link of my Twitter account in the description box below. That way, you don't have to search for it on Twitter. I'll put the link of yesterday's video in the description box as well, as well as my Facebook page. I'm going to try to remember it. I'm going to do this right away as soon as I hit the stop button. It's uploading. I'm going to get that stuff ready. Anyway, like and subscribe to the channel. Share the video with your friends. Comment below who you think won this trade. Was it the Thunder or was it the Magic? And how do you think each team is going to improve with this trade? I know that's going to do it. Have a good day, everybody. I'll see you in my next video. I'm not sure what I'm going to discuss yet, but I have some great ideas coming up. Have a good day, everyone.